Hey, what's going on guys? It's Zach from OnCashflow.com and today in this video, I'm going to be discussing if $1 million is enough to achieve financial independence and retire early. So $1 million isn't what it used to be. It seems like every generation uh, says that in one way or another. And what they mean really by that is that uh, with inflation, $1 million has become worth less and less. There are more millionaires today than there ever been in history. Um, and part of that just means that $1 million is worth less uh, than it used to be. And therefore, naturally, there's just going to be more people uh, with net worths of a $1 million or more. But just as a quick answer to the question, uh, I believe yes. I believe you can retire with $1 million today still. But in order to do so, you're going to have to live a pretty modest lifestyle. And uh, what is modest? Well, with $1 million, if we follow the 4% withdrawal rule, uh, we would have $40,000 per year to spend. Now, $40,000 per year to spend can be uh, a pretty good amount of money, or it could be barely anything, depending on where you live and the relative cost of living. For example, in many parts uh, in California and in New York City, uh, $40,000 per year, you're not going to get very far. Uh, so it would be extremely difficult to retire on $40,000 in those parts of the country. There are many affordable options uh, in the U.S. In fact, the median household income uh, across the entire United States uh, is about $50,000, maybe a little bit more than that. But that median income is gross which means that it is before any deductions and before any taxes are taken out. By the time those have been taken out, uh, the median income probably is a little bit closer to $40,000 than it is to $50,000. So as you can see, uh, retiring on $1 million following the 4% rule, uh, $40,000, it's actually, uh, you know, it would actually be a pretty normal lifestyle. And the thing we need to keep in mind as well is that even though the median uh, is around $50,000, Half of all people in the U.S. live on less than that. Median means it's the middle of the number. It's the number in the middle of all incomes. Half of households uh, make more than that and half of households make less than that. So $40,000 per year is very modest um, and it's definitely doable in many parts of the country. And what this all boils down to, uh, I think with retiring on $1 million, is it really just boils down to frugality and uh, mastering the big three. Uh, the big three being housing, transportation, and food. Uh, and then uh, everything else beyond that. Uh, but just basic frugal, frugal principles uh, can get you really far with uh, $40,000 per year. That's just to say that if you, even if you do decide to retire on $40,000 per year uh, you know, from your $1 million uh, assets, $1 million in assets, it doesn't mean that you'll never earn a, uh, another penny. It doesn't mean that you'll never earn an income ever again in your life. Um, even if it is a very insignificant amount, of money you earn, it's still going to be uh, just uh, icing on the cake. The 4% withdrawal rule, um, its estimate uh, takes into account that you'll never earn another penny. And the odds of that succeeding, uh, based on the Trinity study, is uh, very high. So when you factor in that you might actually earn a little bit more income beyond just your withdrawal from your assets, then things start to really come come together and see that uh, you're, you're going to be good uh, nine times out of ten at least. So that's another reason why uh, retiring on $1 million is possible today. On a really positive note, uh, that $1 million that you retire on could actually become uh, a lot more significant. So as the years go on, if your withdrawal rate um, and inflation is less than the amount that your assets grew, then technically that $1 million uh, gained purchasing power. Uh, for example, um, the S&P 500, since its inception, uh, it's returned uh, really close to about 10% um, annually. And then historically, inflation, uh, everybody likes to use the number 3%. So if you keep that in mind, uh, if you make 10% on your portfolio uh, and you have a 3% uh, inflation rate and a 4% withdrawal rate, uh, those add up to 7%. And that other 3% uh, just goes to growth of your assets. So technically that $1 million will grow to something uh, even more. Even though you're withdrawing from it and even though inflation is technically eating away from it, uh, you'll still grow a little bit richer uh, every year, uh, especially if you have a long, a long horizon, a long time horizon. Uh, that $1 million can be um, worth significantly more because 
uh, the interest will compound on itself even though you're withdrawing from it uh, thanks to that uh, that extra 3%. And even if you look at a more modest, uh, say 8% instead, uh, then it's still 1% that that uh, $1 million is growing by. So technically uh, it could still grow and you can get even richer in retirement. Uh, and that doesn't even include any uh, part-time income or uh, any side uh, side hustle income that you might make. If that uh, if that if you're still making some money, and instead of withdrawing from your assets, you use that money instead, and you lower your withdrawal rate from four percent maybe to three uh, percent, then that's another way that your assets can grow, uh, and that one million dollars can become uh, worth even more. So it sounds all great, uh, right? In theory, four uh, percent rule, one million dollars uh, gives you forty thousand dollars per year. But the really the important thing is. What about you? Can you personally retire on $1 million? Uh, everyone's situation is different. Everyone's journey to financial independence is different. And that's why I want you to click the link in the description below and check out an article that I wrote um, on this exact, to exact topic. Uh, it covers uh, what I just talked about in this video, but in a ton more details, and it gives you uh, all the statistics and all the math uh, that I throw in there. And at the very bottom, uh, there's a section that says, is it, right? is it gonna work for you? And there's just a few questions that you can ask yourself to see if $1 million is going to be enough, if $1 million is going to be your financial independence number. So go ahead and check that out. I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Again, I'm Zach from OnCashflow.com. Have a great day.